How long will the B-1 bomber remain in service? Will it retire when the B-21 arrives? The Air Force is mapping a two-fold future path for its B-1 bomber which includes plans to upgrade the bomber while simultaneously preparing the aircraft for eventual retirement as the service's new stealth bomber arrives in coming years. These two trajectories, which appear as somewhat of a paradox or contradiction, are actually interwoven efforts designed to both maximize the bomber's firepower while easing an eventual transition to the emerging B-21 bomber, Air Force officials told Warrior Maven. Once sufficient numbers of B-21 aircraft are operational, B-1S will be incrementally retired. No exact dates have been established, Madge Emily Grabowski, Air Force spokeswoman, told Warrior Maven. The Air Force performs routine structural inspections, tests and necessary repairs to ensure the platform remains operationally viable until sufficient numbers of B-21s are operational. The B-21 is expected to emerge by the mid-2020s, so while the Air Force has not specified a timetable, the B-1 is not likely to be fully retired until the 2030s. Service officials say the current technical overhaul is the largest in the history of the B-1, giving the aircraft an expanded weapons ability along with new avionics, communications technology and engines. A new integrated battle station includes new aircrew displays, and communication links for in-flight data sharing. This includes machine-to-machine -machine interface for rapid retasking and or weapon retargeting, Grabowski added. Another upgrade called the Fully Integrated Targeting Pod connects the targeting pod control and video feed into B-1 cockpit displays. The B-1 will also be able to increase its carriage capacity of 500-pound class weapons by 60% due to bomb rack unit upgrades. The B-1, which had its combat debut in Operation Desert Fox in 1998, went to drop thousands of JDAMs during the multi-year wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. The B-1 can hit speeds of Mach 1.25 at 40,000 feet and operates at a ceiling of 60,000 feet. It fires a wide range of bombs, to include several JDAMs, GBU-31, GBU-38 and GBU-54. It also fires the small diameter bomb GBU-39.